Hmm. Don't know if I'm feeling this. Let's try the Star Trek angle. Space Force, the final frontier. These are the voyages of the United Space Force Guardians. Their official mission, to protect America, to seek out threats and protect our assets, to boldly go where... All right, all right, I'm just gonna stop ripping off space shows and tell you all about Cape Cod Air Force Station changing its identity and why Cape Cod is getting a Space Force space of its very own. So, last month, the Cape Cod Air Force Station officially changed its name to the Cape Cod Space Force Station. But what is Space Force? I bet most of you don't know what Space Force actually does because A, you watch that Netflix show. The president is creating a new branch. Space Force, which Mark will run. What? B, you didn't take it seriously when President Trump announced it. Space Force. Or C, their public messaging can be a bit vague. We have to imagine what will be imagined. Plan for what's possible while it's still impossible. Maybe your purpose on this planet isn't on this planet. Let me clear things up. The U.S. Space Force was established in October 2019 as the nation's newest military branch, the first since the Air Force was established in 1947. This is not to be confused with U.S. Space Command, which is a combatant command in the military that is designed to deter conflict and defeat aggression in the domain of space. The U.S. Space Force monitors and equips space forces to protect our assets in space. Space Command was established in 1985 and shut down in 2002, then re-established in 2019, around the same time Space Force was created. So yeah, easy to get it all mixed up. The Cape Cod Space Force base is the first on the East Coast. Inside, members of the Air Force work closely alongside Space Force members, who themselves are recruited from the Air Force. I'll let an actual Space Force member explain a little more what they do at the base. Missile warning, missile defense, and space situational awareness. Um, we provide uh, the coverage for Eastern North America to make sure that we are protecting against intercontinental ballistic missiles, sub-launch ballistic missiles, and we are tracking on high-interest satellites, making sure that they are where they're supposed to be. Yeah, the members of Space Force, there are around 4,000 right now, are not up in spaceships getting into intergalactic dogfights. They are monitoring threats in space, which holds some pretty important things that you need for your daily life. Everyone wants to be a, a machine gunner outside the door of the space station, but you know that's not gonna happen in my time. We don't actually do anything out in space currently where we're out there you know, fighting anything. It's not Starship Troopers. We are out on the ground and we're actually looking to see what is in space. It's, it's a mission that looks from below to above. That GPS in your car, the mobile data you may be using to watch this video right now, all thanks to the tens of thousands of satellites that we have out there. Every American uses the satellites that we have up in space. When you pay for your gas at the pump, or you use an ATM, or you use Google Maps when you're driving down the road, you're using our assets up in space. Everything's inter interdependent on each other, so uh, Space Force uh, you know, has, a, has a main task with the cyber domain, ensuring that those assets are secured. According to the U.S. Department of Defense, Russia and China are making big moves in the realm of space, which could be a threat to our assets in space and our national security here on the ground. Space is a very key element to safety and our national defense, and the way defense and safety work is you, you don't see it when it's working. For everyone who watched Space Force on Netflix, Aruba, Jamaica, oh, I wanna take you. This is definitely a different thing. The people on the base have also heard all the jokes. I did hear a lot of people chuckle at it. They thought it was a joke, but it's definitely not a joke. It's a real thing. It's a real military branch and one that we absolutely need. All the movies, you know, Star Wars or Star Trek or, or even uh, Star, uh, Stargate type thing, like I think everyone pictures what they see in the movies. Public image for Space Force is tricky because it's easy to meme. But the idea of Space Force has been in the works for some time before President Donald Trump. But he latched onto it hard and pushed harder for congressional approval. So since Space Force may have seemed like a random idea that Trump just made up on the spot, the real purpose and background of this new armed service seems to have been muddled in the public eye. Even President Biden's press secretary, Jen Psaki, got some flack for being a bit dismissive about Space Force during a press briefing. Wow, Space Force. Um, I am happy to check with our Space Force point of contact. I'm not sure who that is. I will find out and see if we have any update on that. I mean, it also doesn't help that the members are called, and I swear this is 
not a joke, the Guardians. So we actually were the Guardians. We call ourselves the original Guardians as well. When the Space Force took it over, they decided Guardians was the way they wanted to go. There is no way that people hear the name Guardians and don't immediately think of Guardians of the Galaxy. The Cape Cod base got the name Guardians taken from them, so they decided to choose a name that fits the scenery. So we decided what's Cape Cod known for? Sharks, you know, jaws and everything like that. We decided to call ourselves the Sharks. I do like the name Sharks though. Their badge definitely screams Cape Cod. Their logo also looks very familiar. So all jokes aside, the Guardians and Air Force members I spoke with told me it's a continuation of serious business and a look to the future of what we as a country are going to need. And as you can tell from watching our country's billionaires having their own little space race, our world's future seems to be in the stars. Who knows what will happen in the future? It's the next step. Uh, it is what is required for us to continue to maintain that edge against all of our adversaries, uh, making sure that we are focused on the, the, the next horizon, um, which is space. Other than the ocean, we've pretty, much, we've pretty much got Earth covered, so space is the next frontier. A frontier, you say? A final frontier? You have no idea how many bad space jokes I had to hold back during all these interviews. Anyway, now you know what they're all about, and if you're ever in trouble, May the Space Force be with you.